Well, hello folks and welcome back to uh, the Melisenos dynasty in our attempt to restore the Hellenic faith and Roman culture. Uh, we have just restored the Roman Empire un under Demetrius. He has embraced the Hellenic faith and uh, seized a bunch of uh, holy sites so that we may reform the faith. And uh, with a new uh, expansion, Reforming faiths is actually slightly different. Back in the day, you just click the button and then you're done. Now you can actually select things that your faith does, um, you know, that, that's quite special about it. So, uh, here's the thing. Uh, the default for the Hellenic faith is warmongering, civilized, seabound, and autocephalous. What does this mean? It means that... Our only way forward is paved with the skulls of our enemies, only by showing their bravery in battle. The faithful can hope to be rewarded in the afterlife. Rulers are extremely aggressive, and rulers uh, at peace lose prestige. Civilized uh, rulers can choose to gain sympathy with another faith by decision. Air designation is allowed. Rulers do not receive opinion penalties for raised vassals. Um... Seabound, I don't know why this is a thing that uh, we get, but fleets can navigate through major rivers, ship maintenance can is reduced by 10. I guess it's because we're Greek. It might have a slight difference if you're Italian and reforming it. I have no idea. Uh, because the Romans were famously very not naval. Uh, but I suppose the Greeks were. And then we have Autocephalus. Uh... Priests are put in charge of each realm's religious matters. Every realm should have its high priest working alongside it, its ruler and fulfilling the needs of the gods and their followers. Now, the first thing I want to change here is uh, pro proselytizing. I want our religion to go from warmongering to, pro uh, to a modern religion, so to speak, because one thing that the heathen missionaries have shown us is that uh, it is not by the strength of weapons that the gods are preserved, but through the power of the word. Uh, so we are going to select that. Now another thing I want to change, and this uh, in the doctrines we actually have a lot to pick from. Um, we could also change civilized for meritocracy and such, but I do like civilized. What we will change, though, is Seabound to anything else, to be honest. And I think what we will choose is uh, not polygamy, but close kin marriage. Because, you know, the gods have chosen certain bloodlines over others. Such dynasties must be maintained pure if we wish to keep the favor of our creators. And when it comes to leadership, uh, we could become the head of the religion. Eh, don't really particularly like that. Uh, the priest is put in charge of this religion, so we basically have a pope. Uh, but, you know, we're trying to eradicate Christianity. We're inspired by it, but not too much. Autonomous disables holy wars, or great holy wars. Uh, and I don't really... I mean, preferred branch, that would be something. But I do, I do like the uh, autocephalus, even though might be a little bit um, boring. We'll, we'll be playing a lot of Crusader Kings, so you know, we'll get to experiment around with these things eventually. Anyway, um, yes, let's see. Reform. There we go. Uh, we have the Vestals, and here we go. The ancient Hellenic religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon, rather than abandoning the old ways Basileus Demetrius of the Roman Empire. And the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Hellenic faith in order to ensure the spread of the worship of the old gods to the four corners of the world. Reorganized as an autocephalous hierarchy or of loosely connected high priests of uh, the Hellenic faith, where the Hellenic faith is ready to contend with its degenerate and barbarous opponents, reborn stronger than ever from its ashes. For the first time in centuries, the authority of the Christian Church over Europe is being undermined. Oh, yes. This is going to be epic. One cool thing is that since we're Greek and we reformed uh, the faith, we actually get... Wait, what? Why do I have Jupiter? I thought they said uh, that if you reformed as as a Greek, the god names would be 
Greek, but these are Romans. Damn it. Oh, maybe if you're not the Roman Empire and you reform the faith as, like, gr a Greek in Greece or whatever. Um, yeah, makes sense. Oh, one thing. Uh, I got a comment, very good comment. I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit blind sometimes, but, uh, in the, like, I've played this before and I know that it's not, uh, uh, Belissa. I don't know why I say Belissa, but it's Basilissa, okay? So that's the, the title. <laughs> I've been repeating Belissa forever. I guess it's... I don't know. It's Basileus. It's Basil... Basilissa. Yes. I need to remind myself. One thing about the close kin thing is that... I just want to clarify that, yes, maybe the Romans were sort of against that, but I think... For roleplay purposes, we can imagine that, you know, the Melisandre dynasty has ruled uh, the Empire for a while now. And uh, to justify or to join the dynasty, to spread the dynasty, this, this thing sounds pretty good. And if you actually look at uh, uh, the Hellenic faith, um, Zeus and Hera were married and all, everyone was like, it's lots of in incest, so we're just gonna, that's why I chose that particular um, thing and not something else. Because someone suggested blood sacrifice, uh, but, you know, I don't really feel like that would be a thing in the Roman Empire, to be honest. Now, I'm gonna do this uh, syncretism thing that I've never done before, so let's see. The Hellenic religion does not forbid its practice practitioners to study other beliefs in their pursuit for knowledge. Um, I think we'll do... Uh, I wish you know more about Christianity. Obviously, I was a Christian, so it only makes sense to be a little bit, you know, have some sympathy for them. Now, I don't know why it says that I declared an unjust war, but it's definitely going to affect uh, how big this faction gets, the Ab Abrahamic descend uh, descendants. We're gonna have to fight them. This is gonna be quite a rough civil war, and uh, I think I will uh, get my ships, get on my ships, and move to the capital. Get everything ready, and store some money there. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so you refused. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, what's this? Uh, cunning eunuch has taken up residence in a nearby tavern. Renowned physician. Yes, you're joining me. Several indignant vassals have banded together to stand up against the new imperial religion of Rome. They have taken arms and plan to overthrow their own Basileus and restore the worship of the god throughout the empire. Traitors, all of them. Indeed. Now, this is tough. They, uh, they have quite the number of troops, and they are well... Uh, centered. We have our holdings quite spread out, which might prove uh, problematic. Before our troops can test their mettle against our enemies, we must be sure that the gods are in favor of this war. Pontifus Maximus Callinicus has gathered all his instruments and is ready to perform the divination on my offering. Uh, a mighty bull to lead us to victory, indeed. Morale of armies plus 20%. Fantastic. To war. Great Holy War for Lombardy. Uh, he had a vision for Ju from Juno ordering him to declare war or a great uh, Holy War on Caliph Abdullah II and the uh, crawling followers of the Mad Arab. Arab. All three Hellenic men are invited to feast in their holy places. Juno is mighty for Juno. Now Lombardy... Uh, ah, right, he's going for actually the same area where the Catholics are going for. God damn it. The Great Holy War for Lombardy against Caliph Abdullah II has come to an end and he has been overthrown. The pagan faithful will be disappointed because, of course, the Crusade has uh, succeeded. And the Pope owns all of Northern Italy here. Or not all of it, but this area. Centuries ago, the Galileans, in order to hide their crimes, falsely accused one of my predecessors of burning Rome to the ground. Perhaps it is time I return them the favor and cleanse the empire's old capital of the wretched temple scourging its seven hills. Uh, aren't they all... 
Ooh, right, yeah, because it's too many... There's just too many temples. We want other types of holdings. Will I be known as the Cruel? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Rome burns. Living up to the reputation of the heathen emperor of old, Basileus Demetrius, has ordered the ruthless destruction of the Holy See itself in an attempt to undermine Christendom. After forcefully locking priests and cardinals within their own churches, Greek soldiers consigned the holy buildings to the flames. This abominable act is certain to permanently cripple the authority of the Catholic Church for centuries to come. They will be outraged, of course. Uh, the destruction of the Holy See has gravely affected the moral authority of the Catholic Church, and thirty piety is gained. I'm honestly quite worried here, uh, because the fact that they can like just siege down a bunch of shit is just really, really bad for us. Oh no, I've made a huge mistake here. I was gonna engage a smaller army, but it, this army here actually. Uh, but then suddenly their entire army was concentrated on this uh, one spot there. God damn it! Minus a hundred, so I'll have to. Oh no. Oh no. I've failed? I've never failed in Crusader Kings before. What is this? Ah oh, shit. God damn. Damn, that battle was minus 55%. Oh, ah, that was not fun. Not fun at all. Oh my god. All right, well, that's, uh, I don't even know what to say. I've never, ever <laughs> lost as the Emperor of Rome or any other. <laughs> I've never, this is so weird. Uh, like, I've lost before, obviously, in the very first, as the first character, if I don't have a, a child and then I die of some disease, which is very random, but I've never actually had the, uh, the privilege. This is my fir the first time in a thousand and more, a thousand plus hours of Crusader Kings where I've had the privilege of losing the game several hundred years in. And uh, I don't get actually get to do the Roman Revival? I can't believe it! No, this is not po Oh my god. I can't believe- Ah, and we're playing Iron Man. But, uh, yes, after a lineage of nine characters, your line has ended with the death of Airless Demetrius Melisenos. He was executed by, uh, the Rebellion. Uh, and with a score of 72,551, you beat House de Vera. I don't really care. We had uh, Dukes Michael, uh, Despot Theodosius, uh, Saint Michael, the Understanding, Blessed Barda the Chaste, uh, Artemis the Wise, Aegidia the Nun, Sophia the Grand Matriarch, Niphon the Just, and Demetrius the Apostate. That is uh, quite a journey here. I like what? What do I do? Do I just, uh, because if I quit to menu, I lose this, or the save will be, yeah, it's saving on top of that, I imagine. So, uh, I wonder if we can, uh, open up the save and, uh, go back a bit. Alright, I've opened up the game, uh, on the last day, the 4th of July, by the way. 946, and, uh, it seems like I could convert to the local religion, Orthodox. But does that change anything in terms of uh, uh, this? Because uh, surrender is still going to be... The war is still a civil war for the Empire? Nope, it does not seem to change anything, unfortunately. Well, well, that's so unfortunate. I've spent the last hour trying to discover how we could possibly, potentially, de-Iron Man the save game, uh, so that we can, you know, cheat our way to victory, but it does not seem possible, and we are confined to the annals of history, which is so unfortunate if you think about it, because, uh, after all, you'd imagine we could play as, I don't know, our... Oh, wait, that's a Carling there. What about Germany? A Carling as well? What? When did, uh... When did we lose control of our... Okay, ah, we could have played as the Sultan of... Sultan? 
Wait, so what? Of Frisia? Okay. Why are you a sultan? Anyway, uh, you'd imagine that, you know, we'd take control over one of our dynastic relatives, but uh, that does not seem to be the case. And to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that we can't convert away from, um, you know, from the civil war, settle it in some other fashion. Uh, but that seems to be the case, and I don't know if we should uh, try another run. Uh, we don't have a save of this game, of course, other than this. Uh, because I am quite a stupid man, and uh, we were, of course, playing Iron Man because, you know, I like my achievements, I like being clean. And uh, this is the fate that the Roman Empire took, but... Uh, yeah, if anyone from Paradox is watching, or if anyone has any contacts with Paradox, please think about, you know, maybe I should have a decision to uh, just convert, because it... Yeah, okay, that was stupid. It was stupid of me, though. I uh, was uh, chasing an army of 5,000, and they trapped me, and they had 20,000. Uh, now, why that particular battle is worth 55%? And how, in a matter of, like, a few months, them holding all their holdings counts as minus 25% is also lost on me. But, uh, the things we learn. Ah, oh, I was so looking forward to reviving Roman culture and seeing the Hellenic faith spread. Because we, uh, we did at least convert a few provinces. Uh, if we go Hellenic here, let's see. We can't see it because it's like one of the main provinces, but Rome is uh, is controlled, and I think it's supposed to be a brown color. Can't really see it anywhere. That's the unfortunate thing, you know. Uh, but Rome did convert, so that's that's good. You'd think that by the end of this war, we could at least play as our kinsman here in Sardinia. He's literally my heir, of course. Maybe I don't get the throne, but uh, does does he have to die? Does like do all my family members just die after I lose this war? It's very strange that we should uh, lose the game once we are deposed like that. It's very very sad. Um, I think I'm gonna send off an email to Paradox uh, describing my problems, uh, linking this video because it's it, to me it's very, just very strange that I should. Uh, abdicate and then just lose everything considering that my dynasty exists in so many places uh, and I was really hoping for to keep playing the game even if we didn't succeed necessarily in uh, being emperors continuing as emperors of Rome at the moment we could you know start a secret Hellenic society and uh, much else but um, I guess that will have to be it for now. It might actually be the last episode of the series. We'll have to see what um, what happens if the save is uh, if there's any way for me to to continue it. But if I can't, do let me know down below what you want to see. There's so many features in uh, Holy Fury that I'd like to explore as well, and uh, you know I'd love to hear some of your ideas so that we can decide on something to do next, if this can't be continued. In the meantime, this has been Game Gamster. I hope you subscribe, leave a like, and share the video with your friends. I'll see you later. Farewell.